Since during the class, I have recorded five audiobooks. The first two audiobooks, I got offered both within a couple of days of each other, and they were two completely different books. It was a really great experience. My first really, really long romance book was with a, an, a rights holder who was just a dream to work with, really supportive and really great to work with. And I was so thrilled to get that book on the marketplace, as much for her as for me. And that was really cool. And recently, I had somebody call me up and say that they listened to the audiobook. Um, when they were driving on a road trip. And they had to keep reminding themselves that it was me doing it. They were just so into the book and had so enjoyed it. And that made me really, really happy to know that I had audiobooks that I had done on my own that were out there in the world that people were listening to and having that kind of wonderful experience with. So my mother-in-law finally listened to my audiobook. And she listens to audiobooks all the time. And she called me up raving about how great the audiobook was that I did and that she's an avid listener, so she knows what a good audiobook should sound like. So that made me feel really good because I did that all on my own. Um, it's just, it's really empowering to have my books out there. It's work that I've done that anybody could go online and access. I, I've got a um, body of work that is out there that people can listen to. With the acquisition of this specialized knowledge, I set forth to uh, audition for uh, some books that I found on the ACX site. Uh, they are soliciting for uh, uh, narrators to produce various books in various genres. I chose nonfiction because it's the type of field that I'm most familiar with. So I put uh, two auditions together uh, posted them on uh, ACX, also managed to uh, put together a uh, profile, a producer's profile on ACX, so people would know how to find me, uh, put up a third audition, haven't heard anything back on those auditions, yet, out of the blue, a solicitation for my services by a rights holder, a publishing house, on a nonfiction book, and it's... Uh, quite something, uh, having to do with uh, bullying and uh, OCD. They sought me out, which audio sample they made the judgment on, I still have yet to find out. But I was very gratified that uh, they felt that I could fit the need in order to uh, uh, take care of the material that they were trying, the author was trying to communicate and the publisher wanted to uh, put out there. So far, I've recorded three audiobooks that are up for sale, very different genres. The first one was a series of, uh, a book of articles by a Pulitzer Prize winning author, a writer, journalist, pardon me. Uh, the second was a, a blog by um, a woman who was following the journey with her mother with uh, Alzheimer's. And the third book is part of a trilogy, I'm doing all three, that's a teenage fantasy along the lines of Harry Potter. So very, very different. The first one, when it went up for sale, I just, uh, I thought, I was thrilled. I couldn't believe it. And then I thought, well, I wonder if that, it'll sell any copies at all. And it actually has. And I got um, a, a bonus. Uh, and I think there's even another bonus on that one, too. So that was really unexpected. The second book... Uh, I have a wonderful relationship with the author. She's lovely, and she's done interviews, and it's led to me doing some readings with local caregivers groups here. And the third one um, just went up for sale last week. So I'm hoping everybody will be out buying for Christmas here. But uh, it's, it's a wonderful book. Again, I love working with the author. And uh, I'm learning a lot, of, a lot about mythology and different ways of pronouncing names. But if you'd have told me a year ago that I would be doing this, I'd have said absolutely impossible. So now that I've got three under my belt and I'm starting the fourth, I feel uh, that honestly, without this class, I would never, never be where I am. I can't even begin to express the excitement that you feel when you get an offer from an author 
to do their book. There is something, it is, it takes your breath away. You open up, you, you know, you're going, oh, I, I put out five auditions today. Gosh, I wonder if anything has happened with them. And you're almost afraid to go and look. And when you do, and there is a message from an author saying, I would really like you to do this book. Let's do a contract and move on. And you nearly fall out of your chair. It is really, really exciting. I have five books now. Well, actually, four of them are actually on Amazon and iTunes. And one of them is still headed to retail, but should be up there any day now. That is another exciting thing. There's all these little steps that you go through and uh, little... Um, checkpoints, I guess you could say, or stair-stepping up to the final thing of getting it into retail. And every time you open up your email box and you see a message from ACX and you open it up and it's an author saying, I want you to do it, or I have approved your 15-minute uh, test, or I have looked at the, listened to the chapters, they're wonderful, keep going, and then they approve the whole thing, and then you get through quality control, and then you see the book actually up on Amazon and you go take a look at it. It is amazing. It's just, um, I, I, and I, you know that I don't think that thrill is going to go away. It might temper a little bit, but it really is a thrill to see your name on the front cover of somebody's book and to hear your voice on the sample. I'm one of the lucky ones because our last week of class, I had a rights holder ask me to, um, produce his audio book before I'd even auditioned. He did it simply from the demo I put up after both Dan and David telling us how to put our demos up on, on the ACX website. So I already had that going for me. I auditioned for another couple of books and um, I got another offer. So now I had two books. So far, I've recorded three audio books with ACX. Um, the very first audio book I got was kind of a fluke. I was just offered the book. I hadn't auditioned. I was offered the book as a, a straight offer uh, while I was still doing the class. And I really credit that to Dan and David showing me how to set up my profile so that it was attractive. And I uploaded my samples so I was at the top of the queue. And just fortuitously, this author liked my samples and offered me his book. So that was kind of amazing. Probably not a usual occurrence. I don't think it happens every day. But it really, it, it was perfect for me because it gave me the confidence to say, wow, I really am doing something right. And this isn't just lip service. Dan and David are actually teaching me useful skills that are obviously working because this author just contacted me and wants me to narrate his book. When that book first went on sale, it was, it was a pretty incredible moment for me um, because I had always, I think I secretly always wanted to narrate audiobooks, but before this class, didn't really think it was a possibility for me. And to know that there's this audiobook out there with my name under it and my voice narrating it, um, it's kind of incredible to me. And it really affirmed, for me anyway, that I'm an audiobook narrator now. 